Good afternoon. Thank you very much to the organising committee of the APA CPH 2020 virtual conference. I'm very pleased um, to be able to present this work. So Deborah Hilton, hand sanitizer usage by persons entering various facilities in a suburb of Victoria, Australia. This is my website, Deborah Hilton Statistics Online, and I also have a ResearchGate um, website as well. Introduction, the Victorian State Government Department of Health and Human Services website has advised people since the commencement of the COVID-19 outbreak that they should wash their hands regularly for at least 20 seconds using soap or water or use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Hoffman and colleagues published a manuscript titled Soap versus Sanitizer Prevent for Preventing the Transmission of Acute Respiratory Infections, a systematic review with meta-analysis and dose response analysis. 18 trials were included, six trials of sanitizer versus control found a significant reduction in acute respiratory infection events. Relative risk, 0.80. Hand hygiene with either soap or sanitizer reduces the risk of acute respiratory infection virus transmission with evidence suggesting sanitizer might be more effective in practice. And this is the Victorian State Government Health and Human Services logo and the information they had. And the picture there is the gentleman washing his hands. That picture is from Unsplash. Methodology, the general public was observed in entering either a hospital reception area, N equals 27, a pharmacy, N equals 400, or a general grocery store, N equals 73. Observations were made as to whether people used the hand sanitizer or not that was in the entrance to these facilities. This was done over the course of a couple of weeks in August this year, with mostly 50 observations done per day, except on four days, there were only between 23 to 27 observations done per day. The procedure was carried out until the number of observations reached 500. Note these pictures again are from Unsplash, not the actual sanitizers that were observed. Results, 104 people, 20.8% were observed to use the sanitizer. 396 people, 79.2% did not use the sanitizer. In all cases, the bottles or machine dispensing the sanitizer were in an obvious place in the walkway as they entered the building. So it's very unlikely they didn't see it or know it was there. In the pharmacy and in the hospital entrance, there were staff at the entrance either monitoring people as they entered or taking temperatures. So given they didn't advise people to use a sanitizer, it must have not been compulsory protocol, but optional for people to use. Recently, I've had the um, wonderful opportunity to attend the Australian Public Health Virtual Conference. And I had a couple of posters, but aside from that, one of the presenters, Michelle Dowden, who is the CEO of One Disease, showed in her talk some very good hand washing videos that were done in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and these were really cool so you should check this website out they're really they're really good. Conclusion only one in five people observed utilized the sanitizer that was available at the entrance to facilities. Considering that the meta-analysis and systematic review by Hoffman and colleagues included a community-based hand hygiene intervention analysis in future pandemics, this supports the argument and justification for the necessity of sanitizer for prevention of acute um, respiratory infection events. I'd like to acknowledge Unsplash for all the photos. I've got the um, people individually listed, the National Cancer Institute, Kelly Sikema. Um, we've got Casina Ilikan, and the references are available upon request or you can find these on ResearchGate, searching the author's name and manuscript title. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. Bye.